So my presentation is on an oil check. Your fluid check points. A is your engine oil filler clamp. B is your brake fluid reservoir. C is your windshield washer reservoir. D is your engine coolant reservoir. E is your engine oil dipstick. And F is your battery. When checking your oil level, it should between the, be between the ADD and the full marks on the dipstick. Safety checks. When, make, when checking your vehicle for safety checks, make sure your vehicle is turned off and also make sure that the vehicle is in park or if it's a manual transmission, make sure your vehicle parking brake is on. Two points to note when checking your oil is the color of the oil should be between be an amber color so it should be like a, in between a light amber and a dark amber color it could also be like a brown or a black but that could also mean that it needs changing the oil smell if it smells like a burnt fuel smell your engine oil is dirty and can't keep your engine cool enough when checking your engine oil, you should always follow these steps. Uh, the dipstick on most vehicles is on the left side of your engine, and it usually has a yellow or orange handle to be easily located. With a rag or a thick paper towel in one hand, pull on the metal loop or grip and remove the dipstick with the other. Wipe the oil straight off the end of the dipstick and push it back into the hole you pulled it out of. Now withdraw it and look closely at the tip, which should have oil on it. If the level of the oil is between the two lines, your vehicle has enough oil. If the low mark, if it, if it's at the low mark or it's below the low mark, it's time to add a quart. And if it's above the two lines, you have too much oil in your engine. When checking the condition of the oil, look at the appearance of it. If it has a light milky appearance, this could mean the coolant is leaking into the engine and look closely for any metal particles too because this mean, could mean you have engine damage. Once you've added a quart of oil, wait several minutes for the oil to drain down the crankcase and then check it again to ensure that the level is at least between the high and low marks. The oil level does not have to be at the high mark for your engine oil to have enough lubrication to run safely. And that's my presentation. Thank you.